Right guys, so today is the big day. Today is testing day. So we've got two teams, carpet team and Harrison team. Harrison team is collecting all the robots and wood and everything. And we at the sports park are just collecting the carpet. Once we've loaded this up in the car, we'll be going down to the testing room and getting everything set up in there. So we'll see you guys there. Right, so we're finally in M and D room. Uh, got got stopped by a state patrol. <laughs> Whoops. So now we're just going to do a quick, sexy time lapse of us setting up. Right, so we've got our testing grid all set up and our little technical center all set up over there. So we're ready to do the first test, which will be the speed test. So now we're doing the open loop coordinate testing. So we're inputting a coordinate on the software down here and then hoping it moves it to the correct position. And we're just checking that's the exact position at the minute. I'm just checking that. That's quite out there. Is it? Yeah. So we've just done this first testing. Um, the coordinate is quite a bit off, but we're still working to improve it. Is that right? No, it should have reversed. <laughs> um, did it go forward? Though? Oh no, but I, I, no, I did have it. So the open loop system is accurate to about 10 centimeters. So that's one test done uh, after a lot of debugging, trying to get rid of issues. And now we're just gonna test the uh, coordinate system. But again, we're still working on a few issues. So we're having quite a few issues with all the testing stuff. Um, we're still trying to resolve them but making slow progress at the minute. So we finished testing for today. Um, the last activity did work, but that was one of the few tests that did actually work. Um, now, because we've got some more testing on Monday, so the next task is to try to disassemble the robot a little bit to be able to change the top lid and to replace it with a slightly older version, which may mean that the LiDAR will then work on it as well as the gyro. So this is the current robot we're just disassembling and this is the slightly older lid 
which we're going to be replacing this on, as you can see just there. So now it's time to get to work again. <music> So we've now put on the other lid. So now that's ready for testing again on Monday. And hopefully, 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 it now this time works. Right, so as I said, that's the end of testing today. It's been a very tiring and exhausting day uh, with not much progress made. So it's now back to the drawing board a bit and preparing for the testing on Monday. And hopefully that is gonna go a bit better. So for now, it's just working hard through the weekend trying to resolve these issues we've had today and to try to get a positive solution on Monday. Just from looking back at this video now, it does look a little bit grainy um, just because it was quite dark in that room. For the next video in there, I'll try to make a few adjustments in my settings to try to avoid that, but that has been noted, so that will be fixed for the next video. We all knew this was gonna be hard. Testing in the lab versus testing actually in the real world situation are two completely separate things and that's why you need to test to be able to see whether these functions will work in real life and when they're actually supposed to be working so it's good that we've discovered these issues quite early on so we can then implement solutions to these problems although it is this video maybe wasn't as epic as i was hoping but tune in to the video on thursday for hopefully some positive results i look forward to seeing you then have a great few days. Don't forget to like and subscribe.